Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is heat seal my ends with a little bit of heat. So it just takes a little heat to heat seal them. And that just keeps it from unraveling. The first step is we are going to double fold the back. So we're going to fold here. Then we're going to fold again. And that's going to give us the placement of our last two snaps. Use your dowel to poke a hole right through the center. Let go of the first half, hold them to the second half. Place your cap in where your hole was just made. And then you're going to place your male snap on the very back. This is going to be the tail of your clip. Tighten it down with your clamp. You're going to take another cap and you're going to place it to the second hole that you made. Over, you're going to put a female cap on that side. Again, tighten it down. And then we're going to come to the other side and we're going to place the pretty side up. And the pretty side goes into the top, onto the smooth side of your suspender clip. Pull it through, pull it down, double it over. And then you are going, where's my thou at? You're going to poke another hole. And then you're going to put that last cap through. And put your last female part on. Tighten that one down. Okay, so now that you have that, you can take your silicone ring and slide it over that and then clip that shut. And so now you can hold your MAM passies. This just slides right over to the outside of the MAM passy. Or you can you open that back up. <laughs> or you can just slide your regular uh, passies that come with a little ring. You can slide it right in there as well and you don't have to use this. But I always kept mine on because my son always used the MAMS which had the big, the big part to it. Now the great thing about the way you make this is that not only can it be this length, you can shorten it especially which helps for your newborns. This thing is really tight. Um, so if you have a newborn and you want it to be shorter and not hang into their feet, you can pull it all the way to the top and now it's a lot shorter. And another great thing is if you have more than one of these, you can, um, these snaps work really, really good. <laughs> um, if you have more than one of these, you can attach another one, a tail to a tail, and you can use any uh, blanket or little uh, washcloth or whatever. Attach these to the ends of washcloths and wrap it around your child's neck and it could be an instant bib. So yeah, that is how you make a pacifier, a pacifier clip. At least that's what I used for my son. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, so quickly, this is um, a ma'am passy. You can see it just has this here to connect to. So you just take this ring, hold it to the bottom, slide it to the top, and it holds it perfect. And then also, let me show you how it works with the ring style. So basically, we would just take the silicone ring off of the pacifier clip, and then just put in, put this around the actual handle of your other pacifier. And again, if you have a newborn and you don't want it that long, you can clip it and make it a lot shorter for your newborn. So there you have it.